Right, hi everyone, uh, just going to do this video again. Uh, I've done it a few times now and I've yeah, got a bit tangled up with some words. So, uh, we're going to be testing the amber, like I said, I was going to do a video a couple of days ago, but I never got around to doing it. So, um, here is a genuine piece of amber. So, I've got several pieces, I might put them all in to, to, to show you. So, you've got different uh, selections of amber, so you've got a nice clear one. And you've got the one with the inclusions in, all sorts. Uh, so, the one on the left, the one on the left is just plain water, no salt in it, and this is what happens. They all sink. So, I even put all of these ambers on the left, into the pot, the amber into the left. Right. Put all that in. Drop a few pieces in the floor, okay. Anyway, um, that is, that's all then, yeah. Um, so there, it all sinks. I'll just flip the camera up. See the side of the bottom. All the amber has sunk. Now, take all of them out. It's going to go to the bottom of the floor. And then, I'm going to put them into the salt water. Uh, take that one of the crystals out because it's got a piece of metal in it, it will make it sink. So this is the salt water. Remember if you're doing this test itself, put plenty of salt into the water and make sure it mixes in properly. So then we drop all of this amber in and you'll see the first piece is floating on top. So put all the rest in. So there is one of the best ways to test your amber. Just come around the side so you can see that all of it is floating. Just get my hands out of the way from the bottom. You can see that all of the amber is floating on top of the water. So I'll tip all that out and then I'm going to show you the next test. Salt the water out. Uh, that is one of the best ways to test your amber. And also the one to confirm it. Or if you haven't got any salt in the house. Well, the best way, next way to test it is the burn test. So I'll get a piece of amber. Like I showed in the other video, sometimes it may start to burn at the end and give off a bit of smoke and sometimes it may burn. So I'll just get the camera to focus in on what I want. This is. That's it, right. So we've got a stone here. Get the flame going. Get your stone into the flame. This won't damage it. it may burn it, may make it go a little bit. The camera's not focusing on me. Too far away. There we go. I'll do that again. You've got a flame on it, and at the end of it you get a little bit of steam off, a little bit of vapour, but the end of the stone is still shiny, and what you'll find also when you've tested the amber, you'll find that the end will retain its heat for a short time, and it will stay warm. So that's another way to verify it with you. Um, also do a test on this piece to clear, you think it might be a non-piece of genuine, or a non-genuine, sorry. Do that, it's just a bit of water burning off there. Not changed it. Not even melted it at all. So what you'll find with plastic is, the plastic piece of, yeah, it's a non-genuine piece of, of man-made amber sold on the market. Yeah, non genuine piece of amber. If you burn it, I'll just test it on this plastic, and what you'll see is this happening. This is the piece of plastic. And what you do then, burn it, burn it like you do the test. I'll keep the thing from going out, it's a bit windy out here. And you'll see, after a time, oh, nice that the wind wasn't blowing it out find that the plastic starts to bubble up 
and starts to change colour and you'll find that that is the case with, um, with a fake amber as well. It'll start to change colour instantly and start to give off this black smoke. So that's the way you'll find, or well, that's what you'll find with any other um, non-genuine pieces um, of amber. So they two main tests, and both the tests will not damage your amber. Salt water will not damage your stone. And the burn test, it may just turn the end of the stone um, a little bit more darker brown than what it is normally. But you, at least you'll know that you'll have a genuine piece of amber because there are a lot of fakes out there and if you're looking for a genuine piece of amber um, it's nothing worse than buying a piece of amber thinking that it's a piece of amber and then finding out that it's a piece of plastic and it's one thing you waste a little, some money on it you could pay a lot of money for a fake piece of amber and be really really disappointed obviously at the end of it but anyway they're the two way, main ways you can test um, your amber anyway, so two of the best ways. There are several other, oh there is also the other one, the third test you can do is by getting your amber on your hand, or around your hand, and rubbing it backwards and forwards really fast so you get it real nice and hot and then if you smell your hand afterwards you'll get this smell of pine or a uh, spruce smell. So, if you know what pine furniture smells like, um, or yeah, if you know what pine pine smells like, it'll smell like that. It'll smell like a, a wood smell, or going into a forest. It'll smell very much like that. So anyway, I hope you like this little test. Um, I hope you like this little test. Um, I hope to do another video on. Oops, just get a crystal. Yeah, I hope to do another video again on another sacral. Um, chakra crystal stone uh, I'll do that video in a couple of days time if I get a chance um, sorry about the wind, it's extremely windy here I tried to do my best, I didn't want to do a video inside because it was um, wasn't very well, I didn't have any space in the room for today um, but yeah so I'll do that video again anyway it's a oh, um, video on um, a sacral crystal or sacral chakra crystal you know um, the next chakra up from the base chakra Alright, hope to see you again sometime. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.